going on everyone, back today with another trip to a thrift video. So today, uh, if you've read the title and that's why you clicked on it, this video is not clickbait, I promise. Uh, you just got to wait uh, a few minutes until you find out kind of like what items I picked up. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know some of the items, but this is uh, this is my best trip to the thrift uh, ever. Uh, so. It's just pretty mad, like I wasn't actually meant to go to the charity shops and stuff, but I had to go pick my girlfriend up and I thought, you know, I'd go early and I would uh, pick to go to a couple of the shops, you know, while I was waiting. And I did, and I came across two absolutely like insane things to find um, back to back, which is just crazy. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll get onto the items now uh, in case you're wondering. Um, and also the reason I'm wearing a vest again is because it's just so hot it's still boiling um, and uh, but yeah you know it doesn't really affect anyone uh, I hope uh, so anyway the first item so a couple of these one of these this item here I didn't actually find this with the other stuff all the other stuff I found on the same day um, which was the other day as I was saying um, but yeah this first item I just needed to show it I got this the other day um, so you know if you've been watching my videos recently you'll know that I've been picking up quite a lot of ties so like designer ties or just like vintage ties I've got a whole load of them you can't really see them like here you can see there um, and I need to kind of put them up on like eBay or something but I'm kind of just keeping those in my collection keeping them in the collection at the moment but um, yeah you know I think it's quite cool and I found another one so this is a vintage uh, Disney tie I believe it is a vintage tie you can see here you've got, I believe that's Mickey or someone uh, in like a, I think it's like, it's like a car one. So he's in like a race car. You can see here, uh, there's different ones and then it just says like, Vroom. I don't even know what that says. Like, it just has like car noises and stuff. But yeah, I thought it was quite a cool tie. It was like a pound. So I picked it up. It's quite nice. It feels like a silk tie actually. And then you've got the Disney tag. And I actually saw, um, so I got this in coats and um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I got this in coats and then I bought this like last week or something. I went back the other day, I looked in the window and they had two more of these ties. They were like vintage Disney ones again. So I might pick them up as well so you might see them soon. So that's the first item. Right, so all these items, as I said, I found uh, last week or the day that I went. I found them on the same day. So the first item is, uh, yeah, you know, the first item that I found. I don't know what that is, but anyway, um, yeah, first item is this really, really dope uh, Nike jacket. So I saw this, I thought it was pretty cool. It was weird, I actually saw one of these online the other day, which I don't know what it said here. I think it was. It might have been a windbreaker which said Nike here, but, um, but yeah, pretty dope, just black and gold, and then you've got the spell out which says Live Strong there, black and gold. And it is a size, it says a size small, but it kind of looks like a medium. I don't know, uh, can't really see that at all. Got this from a place called uh, St. Vincent de Paul, or something like that, if you can see that. Uh, and I actually paid £6.50 for this, which is quite a lot, but I thought it was quite a nice piece. Pretty unique, um, so you know, pretty cool piece, I guess. I just like to spell out how it was on the... Uh, on the zipper there, but yeah, pretty dope piece. Next item I picked up, um, so where was I? So I've got Disney Time, Nike, uh, right, so I've got this Stussy t-shirt, and this is actually like, a, I believe this is a vintage t-shirt, I've got this from the same place as that one, um, and I actually looked past it, because at first glance, I just kind of saw this, and I thought, ah, it's just one of them little shitty ones, and then I saw, luckily I saw, on one of the shoes, so I'll show you the actual print, so you can see, it just says like, kicks, and then um, it has like, what is that? It says uh, New York, LA, London, Tokyo. And then on the shoes, they look like Air Force Ones. It says Stussy, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I've never found Stussy before. Um, and then I'll show you the tag. I believe this is quite a vintage tag. I don't know if this is like, at first I thought this was like a collaboration with someone, but I don't believe it is. It's just a normal Stussy piece. Um, but yeah, thought that was quite cool, just like a grey t-shirt, size XL, um, yeah, uh, cool I guess. And now to the two uh, final items, which is probably why you're here, probably, well this is why I'm obviously so gassed about this video. So I don't know, I can't really work out which one's better, so um, obviously the one of them is more well recognised, but the other one, 
is like just a pretty rare and dope piece. Um, so the, this is the one I'm talking about. So this piece is pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty rare, and I've always wanted one since I've been thrifting. I've, not, I've seen people uh, get them, and I've also seen them like for sale and stuff. But I finally found one, and I'm just, I was just pretty happy when I came across it, and just pretty like, I don't know, because I still had the buzz from the other item, and then I went and found this one. So this is a United Colors of Benetton, uh, one of the like quite uh, well known. Benetton spell out, so you see it's got Benetton in there. The thing they always do is have the, well on the kind of vintage pieces, they got the Benetton, but all the letters are in different colors. And I just think it's so dope, like it's just such a cool idea, such a cool piece. I'll show you the, uh, oh, sorry about that uh, alarm going off. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. I apologize, the lighting's a bit dodgy. This is a size large. I don't know if it will fit me. It might do actually, and I might keep it for myself because it's a pretty dope piece, as I said. But yeah, came across this, and it was just, it was literally the shop next door, which I sometimes usually go past, but I thought, you know, I've got time to kill, I'll go. Went and found this, and I was like, that is so, so dope. Uh, and these are probably more rare than the next item I've got, um, and just, I think that is quite a cool piece. And yeah, I might end up keeping it myself if it fits. I haven't tried it on yet, actually. And then the final item today is this supreme piece. So. It's just pretty, I'll show you the, uh, the piece now. You can see there. So what I, I was just pretty gassed that like, obviously if you find Supreme in like a charity shop and that, or a thrift shop, uh, thrift shop I've always said like, I wish I could find more designer brands like that and more high end street, uh, street fashion like skater brands like Supreme. And I was just like, I came across it and I was just, it was just like a feeling of like, what the hell like how how has this even happened like obviously if someone has never found that stuff before it's just mad um, and this is basically a um, fully legit I've checked out the stuff this is the I believe it is the Susie Sue or Susie from the uh, Susie Sue and the Banshees I believe I apologize I don't know the person myself but yeah pretty dope piece it's just a white t-shirt with like the print of her on the front with a thing which says to supreme from Susie I believe that's what that says and then on the back it says true love never dies you can see it's a size medium but it kind of looks like a large and then you've got the supreme tag here it is fully legit and I picked this up and if you don't you it hasn't got a uh, tag on it because I took it off to put it in the wash and it still needs to go in the wash actually but uh, it hasn't been washed yet um, I've got a picture on my Instagram where you see it has the tag on it and everything and I even posted a story when I found it so I'm not bullshitting you I don't do that sort of shit I'm not like clickbaiting but yeah just so dope found Supreme at the charity shop and um, it is definitely legit got the Supreme holographic and you can't you won't be able to tell at all but um, you trust me you can see it um, but yeah there's no point in me trying to show you because you won't be able to see it but yeah that is just crazy that I found Supreme t-shirt in there and I paid two pound for this two pound which is like even for so this uh, Benetton one paid five pound for it This one I paid two pounds. So it was like originally priced at like 395 or something like that and then it was at Sue Rider by the way, so I got my discount um, and it was like two Two pound or something crazy and I was just like wow that is just insane. So yeah, so hyped about this and then obviously I walked next door and found the Benetton piece and I was like oh my god what I didn't even know what to do I wasn't like I was I was in shock but anyway guys uh, if you did enjoy today's video and you are as hyped about my supreme find as I am then make sure to leave a like uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below and subscribe obviously if you're new uh, it would be great if you could watch my other videos so I've got the last ones in the description below or other videos you might want to watch um, so yeah, hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you have a good week. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Bye.